After two years of testing, the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources is celebrating the success of breeding its own tiger muskies, which are non-native fish to Utah. And ABC4's Nate Larson is live at Jordanell State Park with the DWR to find out why this is such a big deal to have these fish here in Utah. That's right, Courtney. So tiger muskies uh, can be found in areas like Jordanell and several water bodies across the state. Tiger muskies, they're a cross between a northern pike and a muskellunge. And DWR has attempted to produce and raise them on their own here in Utah for several years now. Tiger muskies are sterile hybrid fish used to manage fish populations across the state. So this way, the managers can control the number of fish in a given water where they can be used for biological reasons as far as trying to remove fish or species that are unwanted in that water without overpopulating it with, say, a northern pike or a muskellunge. Tiger muskies have been stocked in Utah since 1988, and hatcheries have tried producing them for years by taking northern pike eggs and male muskellunge milt. But the numbers were limited on how many ripe, ready, northern pike females we could get. Biologists turn to female muskellunge instead. Taking the eggs from the muskellunge and the milk from the northern pike because we could find more males and, and the males will give milk at a younger age. And so it was more out of necessity than anything else. Tiger muskies look intimidating with their sharp teeth, but avoid humans like most freshwater fish and they're effective at eliminating unwanted fish. You no, know, they go in there, there's no chemicals needed, there's no treatment. They can go in and forage on those unwanted fish and yet also provide an opportunity for a sport that uh, might be unique to that water body. Tiger muskies are the longest fish in the state. A record 53 and a quarter inch muskie was caught at Pineview Reservoir back in 1998. Not only are they large, they're tough to catch. And I think there's always that pride in being able to accomplish something that's a, a bit of a challenge. You, you have to really have a desire to go and catch a tiger muskie. All right, now they do look a little intimidating. I remember being afraid of them growing up, uh, recreating at Pineview Reservoir, but uh, nothing to worry about there. Now, since they began this program where they've reverted to now the female muskellunge uh, cross method, they've already generated 85,000 uh, tiger muskies since 2021. All right, I'm live at Jordanell State Park. Nate Larson, ABC4 News.